comprise that for you for the last set of videos. So let's go and get the oops. Get 37 in the driving direction. And set that one into forward. Okay. So why did that train fall apart just as quickly as that? So we've got a Class 87 on the wrong side of the track. So yeah, I don't know why um, that happened, but yeah, anyway. Just for the end of the video, I am going to go straight back to the Class 87 for... Oh, dropping my thing on the floor. Let's put it there. Just keeps it out of the way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do some close-up shots with the Class 87 now. I will do some other close-up shots tomorrow morning with the trains. And I'm just letting you guys know now, before I go, um, this channel is going to be for most of the adventure videos and model arrays and heritage line stuff. It's not going to be suited to gaming stuff and things like that from now on because this channel was starting with model arrow stuff and it was only based for that. Then I started getting into gameplays and stuff like that. But for the most part there will be still some gameplays involved on this channel just at this moment in time it will fully change once I've got a new account but I'm gonna do it break it down slowly and then you know for the content I make. Um yeah, I think that's the only way I could do it properly is to actually have my make my channel this particular channel one I started out with as my model Eric channel. Because a lot of you guys like model and stuff but there's a percentage of you like um say like my real doll videos which I do tend to put up from time to time. Which by the way I am putting an overall set up on YouTube very soon on this channel because a lot of you guys do like the YouTube channel. I know it's called what it is because it's for the trains but it's called I Trains Class 87 Views because I do have I do own one right now, a class eighty seven. I you see it in the videos quite often it's in a blue livery. It doesn't tend to appear in the sense of when diesels appear for a full time but I don't try to use diesels like I used to through the whole, excuse me, it, the whole of 2019 and 2016 definitely, and occasionally through 2016. And since I've been on YouTube for five years, it means there's been a lot been changed since then. Ah. Why does it always train fall off on that track? I'm going to have to readjust a few trains on that line. Anyway. Yeah. And I'm going to do some very soft steel now. Just going out on the top end for it. Just clean off the side of the trunk. Just keep it off the side. And that way you can see. And this one's good side to fall off. Is typical. This train doesn't usually fall off at all. For some reason, tonight it's going to be an open and there's not the trains are misbehaving themselves. That's why one of the reasons why I'm thinking just getting more straight pieces for this line because it means this section here will be straight instead of waving and rubbing it around on that section. But I'm just going to try and get a couple of shots for you on this angle if I can. I can't hope it doesn't fall off the tail because that's a Spencer train. Because that, that train is not cheap when I got it. It's nearly 200 quid for this unit, so, you know, it wasn't cheap at all. 
I hope it doesn't do well. Couple more rounds. And there it goes again. I'm hoping it falls off the station and not before. And there it goes. See, this is the trouble I have on this layout at the moment because it dangles a little bit off with the trains. But yeah, that's the, basically the footage you got for me filming some locomotives. I did film earlier today and it was working fine. So I don't know why it's an issue now. But anyway. That is life, I expect, because trains do, in modern trains, model trains are, sometimes have issues with their units. Even if it was new or old unit, it still has issues. I know a lot of people are buying new cars, but the trouble is that there's a lot of other people who in a budget like me and my mum, you can't buy new cars every year. It's completely impossible because you don't have the money for it. So they asked to make a system up where so those people can't afford a brand new car, they asked to stick with an older car until they got the money for a brand new one, second hand. It's in good condition, it, it just doesn't work otherwise. So yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I'd done of the valley. I obviously I've still got a lot more tidying to do around it. And the stone work I'm going to have to do a lot more pushing up with some glue I guess. But otherwise the rest it's doing quite good. As you can see, I've done quite well. It's still a lot of work to be done but this is a, a long way process. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for another video. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do tomorrow, probably some gameplay I guess. Um, but obviously my channel is going to change next year. So yeah.